Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to talk to you about the three wood. The most innocuous of golf clubs isn't it? I mean it's not, uh, it's not something that necessarily people hit uh, or enjoy hitting off the floor that much and that's really what I want to talk to you about today. I think hitting a three wood off, off of a tee is relatively easy in comparison to a driver, certainly mentally anyway. I've never really subscribed to hitting three wood off the tee if I'm not hitting my driver well. If I can't hit my driver well, I won't be hitting my three wood very well because there's not that much more loft on the three wood over the driver. But anyhow, I want to talk to you about three wood off of the ground. What I've got up on the screen today is attack angle, launch angle, face to path value, the strike locator, and of course, where the ball goes. These three ingredients, the attack angle, launch angle, face to path, will give you an insight into how your golf ball will take off, the flight it has, and the contact you get. In conjunction with the strike locator, how gear effect influences the spin and the curvature on the golf ball. If you've not found out about gear effect or you're not that au fait with gear effect, that's a video coming your way very soon. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that will be able to tell you about it in the, uh, in the interim. Let's get here in one. I've got a, because I'm a bit of a low launcher, I've got a five wood that is reduced in loft to make my club play the way the three wood should play in effect. And I think that's an important point to add that the, in, in bygone era of your three wood needs to be 15 degrees, your driver needs to be 10 degrees. Of course, if you've watched any of the videos that we've done on Precision Golf YouTube channel, it's all about getting a golf club that makes the ball fly, spin and curve the way you want it as a player. Forget what it says on the bottom of the golf club. I think it's gonna, we're gonna come to a time where these golf clubs don't have numbers anymore. They, all, they, they just have loft angles. And even that doesn't really make much sense either. Anyhow, let's hit one. And I'm gonna talk you through some technical stuff that will help you hit these balls better. So, let's see. So there's the three wood off and running. Well, that wasn't a bad start, was it? <laughs> so, uh, my attack angle is 0.2 down. Out of all of the clubs in your bag, your attack angle will want to be the very lightest, the least amount down of all of the golf clubs you play off the floor. If you hit down, you're gonna take loft off the golf club. The launch angle was 13 degrees. So pretty good launch that for, for a three wood. The face to path value was closed minus one uh, and a half degrees. So the face was closed to the direction of the path. So the ball should have curved. Fortunately, I hit around the middle and it was all good to go. Let's sit in another one and I'm gonna try and whop one out of the heel for you and just show you what differences might occur. So I hit that one a bit more towards the heel. Now you saw that that face was only open one degree to my path. We definitely saw more curvature to the right than the one that bent to the left that had one degree close to my path. And that was because I hit it slightly more out of the heel. Hit down at 1.8, launch angle was very much the same. Now because I added a degree of downstrike, and I added a degree of loft to my club because the face was open to the path. That's why we still had a launch angle of 13.2. I'm just gonna press the button to say, okay, I understand that my battery is running a little low. I will plug that in in a minute. Therefore, in a shot like that, the ball bent to the right more because the strike contact rather than anything else. When we're playing three woods, we have to be very conscious that any amount of down 
will really sacrifice the launch angle of the golf ball. So I'm just going to move my ball slightly further back in my stance here, as though my ball is in a bad lie. And that will promote me to catch it slightly more on the way down. And watch what happens to the ball flight. So I've hit it more down. You can immediately see the launch angle has dropped down I've hit down at five and a half degrees. And because of that, I haven't quite been able to square up the golf ball. Now, I would say that this is the typical uh, ingredients that we see with golfers uh, hitting three woods off of the ground. Invariably, they still apply the same feels through strike as they do with a seven iron or an eight iron or even a five iron. You have really got to understand that the minute you start to strike down too much with these golf clubs, with something with as little loft as this, you're really going to battle the right hand side. So what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to endeavour to square the face up with the same five and a half degrees. Because the golfer that hits the three wood off of the ground that bends it away to the right, he immediately thinks that his face is open or his path is too far to the left. But really what's happened is He's just hit too much down on it. If he still stayed hitting down and squared the face up, look what would happen as a shot. <laughs> I've still hit, you know, I've hit a degree more down. But I've now squared the face up. Look at the launch angle. I've hit it in the middle of the face. That thing is not taking off too much. So therefore, as soon as a golfer then hits down because they're used to hitting down with their five iron and their seven iron and their eight iron. They then create the same feel through strike with their, with their three wood off of the floor. The face opens up. Then if they try to square it up, then they don't create any ball flight. Then before you know it, the golfer's sitting back and trying to help it in the air. So understand that when you're playing a three wood off of the floor, if there was a place that you would put the ball, it would be outside of your toe, outside of your left toe. That will at least inspire you to start to make the club arrive a little bit more shallow. And if you did pull it outside the toe and you did catch it a little bit on the clean side, because you had, because you had it, and then that was a little bit thin, that was low on the face. Because you had less angle of attack, you would at least see some flight. Because the ball's further forwards, you would at least have an opportunity to then start getting the golf club to square up. I'm going to go even further outside my toe. So I'm going to get even more of an upstrike. I'm going to get even more of a pass with the golf club swinging to the left. And so now, now I've got the ball launching. Look how much higher that golf ball's now launching. Sure, I've got a little bit of a fade on it, and I actually hit up on it 1.5. But from the guy that is on the ground whacking down on it, seeing these load scudders moving out to the right, that's quite a nice, quite a nice shot. So now he's got the ball that's got the high fade to the right. He doesn't like that. We just need to get rid of the fade, don't we? We've got the launch, the ball's outside the, outside the toe. Now I'm going to get him to aim more right. And then what I might want to do is get him to grip the club face about 10 degrees closed, put his normal grip on, rotate the face back to straight. So now his club face feels, or his grip feels a little bit strong. Now I'm going to pop the ball further forwards in my stance again so I get that better strike. That was a shocking shot. Did have some draw on it though. Put the ball further forwards in my stance, make a swing at it. And now all of a sudden, I've got a better angle of attack. Now I've got some draw, now I've got some ball flight, call it a little bit low on the face. So if you understand what you're looking for with these three woods, invariably everyone hits too much down on it. Too much down makes the loft come off, then the loft goes back on because the face is open. Face is open because you're hitting too much down. Move the ball forwards. Outside your left toe. Now you've got ball flight. You've got too much shape to the right. Spin the grip. 
grip the golf club, bring it back to straight, swing and hit. Then you'll change the ball flight back to straight. It's very, very simple if you understand how the three dimensions of this golf swing work to make a club behave, you know, within the parameters of your golf swing. The three wood is a tricky one. It is not going to lower your score, being better at it off the floor. It'll make your ego feel better, but it isn't going to lower your score, I absolutely promise you. Get your five iron out, whack it down there, hit a wedge close, and you'll, and you'll deal with the 200 yards to the flag better than you would do trying to make this thing work. So hopefully that's given you some insight into how to play a three wood a little bit more effectively. Things to look out for that may cause you some errors. And hopefully you can enjoy that low lofted fairway wood just that little bit more. If you've liked this video, you know what to do folks. Hit the like button, share and subscribe with your friends. I wish you well and I'll see you on the next one.